Hi everyone, welcome back to Sana's Garden and welcome if you're new here. I hope you all are doing great and staying safe. In this video, I'm planting some bare root strawberries. I had ordered these from Prime Rose and it took quite a long time for them to arrive due to obviously the current delays and anyways, they are here. They arrived safely with no damages at all and that's the variety I ordered and yeah. Bay root strawberry plants are very quick and easy to grow. Bay root basically means that the root doesn't have any soil or compost. So if you're planting bare root strawberries for the first time, you may be sh a bit shocked or worried to see the condition they arrive in. They are dried with no signs of life or just a little bit green on top sometimes. So don't get scared by that. They are absolutely fine. The first thing we need to do when the bare roots arrive is to separate the individual plants only if the roots are tangled and soak them in water for some time anywhere from 30 minutes to an hour. Uh, this is basically to ensure that the roots are rehydrated. It looks like the, the bare roots are dry but they are moist from inside and this is part where the roots join the top green part is the crown. So I just took some water in the tray they came in and I'm placing the bare roots in water where the roots are fully inside the water and the top part is out. It is not mandatory to soak them in water but doing this will ensure very good results. We are doing this step to rehydrate the roots and break their dormancy. So when you plant them, they are fresh and already hydrated and ready to go and just back to work. Bare root strawberries perform best in loose, rich soil with a good amount of organic matter. I have taken the fruit and veg compost in this container here. So I initially planted them in this container because I was waiting on a wood delivery to build the raised bed and also there were some very cold nights expected so I wanted them to be able to be moved to a protected area if there was the, the temperature were to go very low. So if you're planting them in the ground, make sure that you choose a full sun spot. A very important step in planting the bare root strawberry plants is actually how you plant them. It completely depends on this step if your plants are going to survive or rot and die. To plant them, I have made a hole in the pot and then I'm spreading the roots to give them enough room to grow although I'll be transplanting them soon and pushing the roots inside the soil really well so there are no air pockets and all the roots are really covered with the soil and the crown is exposed. I repeat, please make sure that the crown is exposed. The crown is the part where the green tops emerge that needs to stay above the soil level at any cost. If that is inside the soil level, your plant is going to rot and die. So it's just over two weeks since I planted them and all five of them are looking great with fresh new growth and few have already started to put on blooms as well. So my raised bed was also ready and with the growth occurring actively, I decided it's time to transplant them and let them have their own territory. Strawberries should be planted 18 to 24 inches apart because the strawberry plants uh, develop runners and the runners uh, tend to root themselves freely to form a new row anywhere from about 1 to 2 feet from the main plant so the spacing is really important here i have not spaced them that much apart but there is quite a bit of distance maybe like 18 uh, inches or so but i have dedicated this bed completely for the strawberries only so they can send runners or whatever and just take over the whole bed and not go into any other bed or do anything else so if you're planting strawberries make sure to plant them in containers or the strawberry planters which are specially made for them or 
in any enclosed beds where you can control them uh, how much they grow if you plant them on the ground or freely just just like that they may take over the entire portion by sending runners in no time literally that may be a win-win for you if your garden ends up looking like a strawberry field but yeah that might affect in the other plants as well so these are my few updates uh, from my strawberry plants in the past few weeks they have been performing really well putting on a bunch of blooms and uh, there's already a lot of fruit coming and my strawberries are just about to go ripe and yeah we, we're gonna start enjoy them very soon now so also one more point if uh, you have any animals where you live uh, like squirrels or foxes or anything else which might harm your plants make sure to have a netting around your containers or beds or wherever you have planted them and yeah that's just to protect them and i think the squirrels and rodents dig up the strawberry roots they have done it uh, to my plants in the first week when i had planted them just planted them so I just immediately put a netting around it and they are safe now nothing happened to them after that they're looking pretty good so yeah that's all for this video I hope you all enjoyed watching this and hope this video gave you some inspiration to get something done in your garden today thanks for watching bye